Haley Van Lith has committed to TCU to join Mark Campbell and the Horn Frogs for what will now be her third team in three seasons. Now, Haley did visit Mississippi State, and there was a strong connection there with Sam Purcell, her former assistant coach at Louisville, but she ultimately decided to go with TCU. Now, it was announced Monday that former Kentucky guard Anaya Russell had committed to MCU, and apparently they also hosted Penn State transfer Leilani Kapanis, 5'10", junior out of Madison, Wisconsin. She averaged about the same amount of points as Haley last season, 6.8 rebounds, 58% field goal, so very efficient. Uh, she also was named twice to the Big Ten All-Defensive Team, so imposing physically. We'll keep an eye out to see if she actually joins MCU and if that was maybe a factor and Haley decided not to. Um, all we can do is speculate. What we know for sure is she'll be joining a TCU team that brings back two starters in the backcourt, Una Jovanovic and Agnes Imanopu. That's three upperclassmen that started last year. Somebody's going to be the odd woman out. We know Haley didn't go there to sit the bench, and a 5'7 and 5'9 backcourt is probably too small, so likely beat Una. With Haley having an NIL deal with Adidas, it's shocking to see her pass up an Adidas sponsored school in Mississippi State, but the decision has been made. Let's move on. She won't be going there alone, as Maddie Sherr, the 5'11 senior guard leaving Kentucky, has also decided to commit to TC. That makes four veteran guards that'll be on TCU's roster, so it's no surprise that Haley Cavender has decided to transfer out of TCU and back to Miami, where she'll be playing with her sister Hannah. Now, Haley didn't play last season, but the last season that she did play, she averaged 16.7 points and 7 points who rebounds, so it'll be interesting to see how far they can push the Canes this season. Kayleen Smichael, the six foot sophomore guard, is leaving Rutgers and headed to Minnesota, taking the 16 points and 5 rebounds that she averaged last season with her. Gracie Merkel, 6'6 sophomore out of Mount Washington, Kentucky, has decided to go to Penn State next season. She averaged 15.1 points and 11 rebounds last season. Man, 70% field goal. If you ever transfer again, I know a team for you. Jalen Bristow, the 6'2 freshman out of Holiday, Texas, has decided to go home to Texas Tech. Taylor Woodson, 6'4 freshman forward out of Minnetonka, Minnesota, she returns home to Minnesota to play for the Golden Gophers. She won't be alone in leaving Michigan. Uh, Lee Stuck also transferred out of there. 6'1 senior guard. She's headed to Ball State. Ilana Eaton, 6' junior guard. She's committed to Memphis. And there's a few players still in the portal. Um, starting with Raven Johnson, 5'10 sophomore forward, played at Chattanooga last season. She averaged 14.2 points and seven rebounds. She'll be looking for a new place to call home next season. Mir McLean, 5'11 senior, who played at Virginia last season, averaged 12.2 points and 9.6 rebounds. 57% field goal percentage as well, so very efficient. Um, we'll see where her third school will be. Alia Love, 6'1 senior guard out of Kansas City, Kansas. She's entered the portal. Kylie Marshall, the 5'11 freshman guard, is leaving Texas A&M to see where she can find a new home. And McKinley Daly, a 6'1 freshman. She's leaving the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Entering the transfer portal. We'll see where she lands. When she does find a home, I'll for sure be back with another update for you guys. Um, make sure you subscribe if you're not. And click like if you want to hear more of these updates.